welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. So you guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a few tips on how to avoid foul lock odor. <laughs> it's like, nah. Nobody wants to walk around with their locks smelling like Okay, so without further ado, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, press the notification bell so you will be notified each time I upload a future video. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. I have my notes here. I want to keep it short and sweet. I have a few quick tips, all right? These are easy. It doesn't require much. It's just going back, making sure that you are not doing anything unnecessary to cause foul odor in your locks. So the first thing that I would suggest is not to use heavy products. Now, our scalp naturally produces sebum, okay? So when you're working out, sweating, you know, whatever product that you are using, especially on your roots, and when you sweat, even on the length of your locks, everybody has their own scent. So when it mixes in with the product, sometimes the product that you use don't go well with your natural aroma, okay? Your natural smell. Hence, it can cause a nasty foul odor. So the one thing I could suggest is minimum to no product at all. And you wanna use products that are very light. You don't wanna use any creams. You don't wanna use any souffles, no gels. To be honest, you wanna use something that's refreshing to your scalp and to your locks. A good example would be a diluted aloe vera juice or rose water, and you can add an essential oil on top of that that can help with the scent and making sure that you don't put too much essential oil in your mixture with your either your diluted aloe vera juice or your rose water or even plain water. A good essential oil that I like to use is tea tree oil. It's a natural cleaner, number one. It's antibacterial and antifungal. So yes, tea tree is really good with keeping whichever area that you apply the essential oil clean, okay? So I love tea tree oil and a little bit goes a long way. So like I said, you want to use products on your hair and on your scalp that are refreshing versus clogging heavy just weighing your hair down okay because like i said now that now that it's summer you guys it's officially summer you know you just want to be careful most likely you're going to be sweating a lot more than usual so that is my tip my first tip is just being careful about putting heavy products in your hair and how often you're doing it as well number two wrapping your hair up when necessary. So when you're cooking, when you're cleaning, when you're working out, when you are somewhere where there are strong scents, strong smells, like for instance, if you go to a cookout and you're too close to a, gr to a grill and the smoke from the grill is blowing on your hair, believe it or not, by the end of the day, your hair will smell like whatever you was cooking on the grill. Okay, and it, it might take a day or two, you know, everyone is different, but it can take a while for the smell to go away. So just wrapping your hair up when necessary, okay? That is really, really, really important because as the saying goes, whatever you put in your locks stays in your locks. So yes, that goes for smells too, for someone who is a smoker as well. If you smoke heavily or you smoke occasionally, just making sure that your hair is tucked away and it's not out and exposed to, you know, the smells that are around you. So that is my second tip. My third tip is making sure after you wash your hair that you completely dry your hair. I cannot express that enough. Due to time crunch or things coming up, sometimes you can find yourself rushing through the washing process. Not really the washing process, but it's the drying process. Okay. Two things with the drying process is when you are shampooing and rinsing out the hair, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing your locks, okay? Kind of like a sponge. You want to squeeze all the product, all the shampoo out of your hair and then after you're done rinsing your hair out, you want to make sure that you're also wringing out your locks. Yes, you have to wring out your locks. You have to go in. It just takes a couple more minutes and just squeeze really tightly. I wouldn't, I mean, if you want to twist, that's fine, but I just like to squeeze like I would a sponge. Our hair is 
similar to a mop okay I'm gonna use a mop for an example um, if your mop does not completely dry it will smell like mildew the next day so it's very important that you allow your locks to dry 100 percent and using a microfiber towel or a t-shirt just letting your hair sit in the t-shirt for maybe 30 minutes to an hour since it's the summer and these are the warmer months this is the perfect time for after you wash your hair you can go outside directly in the sun and use the sun as a natural dryer okay all right your girl is giving you some tips now. And lastly, I think this is so underrated. This is something that people overlook. And that is what you are putting into your body, okay? If there's one thing that you can take from this video is making sure that you stay hydrated at all times, okay? You wanna make sure that you are drinking plenty of water. You don't want to drink too much water now but i would say from half a gallon to a gallon of water a day is safe water is so essential so yes just be careful what you're eating i'm not here to tell you what to and what not to eat everybody is different you know what may not be good for one person it may be just fine for the other person one thing i can tell you is just making sure that you are drinking water okay water really helps with everything it cleanses your body it cleanses out your system. It just flushes out everything, your skin. Your scalp is technically your skin. And so if you're drinking plenty of water and your skin is becoming very clear and very soft and glowy, what do you think your scalp is doing? You know what I mean? So just think about it like that. But yeah, you guys, that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you found this video very informative. And let me know in the comments below if there's something you want to add to this list of tips to avoid any type of foul odor in your locks, okay? It's 2020 and we need to get it together. There is no excuse anymore, okay? Okay. Learn your body, listen to your body, and see what it needs. And that's all I have for you for you guys today. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel. We are at 2,500 subscribers. My goal by the end of this year is to reach 10,000 subscribers. And I am manifesting it. I am throwing it out there. And it will happen. So you guys, remember, subscribing is free. It helps you help me help you. How? Because when you subscribe, it motivates me to continue to make content for you. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you on my next video below. And let your locks grow. Bye.